whole world. Um, and you might go to like a, like a virtual dream world. What I think of as AR is often when you hold up your phone and you're able to peer into, into that world. And what we're doing in spatial computing will allow um, AR phones to have what we call XR compatibility to also peer into that world. So this whole audience could be half spatial computing devices. All others can hold up phones and tablets and see that same shared world at the same time. And that's a property of something we're, we're building called Magic Verse Ally to do that. But in spatial computing, you have digital content that interacts with you and the physical world as if it actually has a sense of physicality and knowing the place. So the attributes we talk about, about what spatial computing, um, think about what we're doing right now. We're in a physical space. Your brain is a biologic spatial computer. The universe is probably a kind of spatial computer. So we think about presence. Like right now, we're all present. And this sense of presence, if you look at the person to your left and right, they're not a video. There's like this neurologic sense of presence. We'll be able to deliver that digitally. Uh, there's actually some things you could see here uh, at the SHAPE conference where you could see the beginning of real co-presence. If you see Micah, or if you see uh, co-presence where you have something like the Kingsman movie happening, you're beginning to understand what that means. So presence, persistence, scale, um, awareness, interactivity, sentience, and respect. We'll sort of talk through all of those. Um, so I'm going to give examples of like, here's some future city. It's a physical place. And then we'll have this like underlying this is Warner Brothers lot, so I could say this, almost like Matrix-like world where there will be a digital twin um, underlying what, what uh, that, that world is. And that digital glue will hold the physical and digital and massive multi-person experiences together. So now you have that physical world populated with people, kind of like what we're doing today, um, but we're very, very close to this world where that physical digital has blended together. See, so walking through a city, there's AIs, there's avatar presences from other cities that are 5G connected. You might have whole experiences and things that are going on in multitudes of like different channels or layers that you can pop in and out of. And this world is coming incredibly soon. I'll give you a very practical <laughs> example. Let's say these three folks are working on a new building and the new building's off to the right. So the digital twin, imagine this living at the edge where it's needed and where it's fast. And it's not just the geometry, it's semantic and live and gives you this like digital physics and what's happening now of the real world. And that's living in this infrastructure. Suddenly a friend has, co has through co-presence appeared and is there to talk to you as if like in one of your seats, somebody that's next to you just appeared. Uh, and there's a digital person who could be in, like in Tokyo and suddenly they're at this conference right now. And now what we've done is we've added something that has real scale, a 10-story building. The architecture CAD model, which is respecting the light of that moment in time rendering upon that building. So you see, this is what the finished building looks like. And it might have persistent metadata that lives there for the construction workers. So if you go down and walk over that building, this is a giant digital layer still there. It's glued to it. You could say, stay there for 12 months. And only if you're the electrical engineer do you get to see like the pattern of information for that person.